Mandala art forms. Mandalas can show their faces on almost any medium. Most of these mandala art forms are more permanent formats, such as and structures, while some are only temporary features. Mandala art forms can be found in sand. Sand mandalas are found in Tibetan Buddhism. Usually a higher teacher will hold a choice over the mandala design and monks will declare the area worthy through music and sacred chants. The drawings will then be created and filled in all with colored sand. This can quickly be blown away by the wind so it's a short Leave it piece of work for the effort but put in. However, sand is seen as a sign of healing and purification to them. Ceramic man, sculpture. Mandalas can also be sculptured in, onto monuments, buildings, furniture and more. People paint onto ceramics and use these pieces for things like ornaments and crockery. When it comes to sculptors, the term mandala may not simply apply to just the painted flat images, but to actual delightful figures. Within Tibetan religions and the Himalayas, there are constructions called namka, which are made by a red cross and look similar to aboriginal dream catchers or spirit catchers. These are created as an offering to the details and are interpreted to be symbols offering of a life force or soul of a person. Often selling painting and murals are used inside buildings and homes as street art or in religious temples. Murals and selling painting today can be made with things like spray painting or markers, as opposite to the old fresco away. Often painted onto fabrics or paper with paints and pigments and are supported to be carried in scrolls. These scrolls and tapes trees are also put up as a permanent display in shrines. What is mandala art used for today? Like other famous paintings in history that are resurfaced today, mandala art is another very popular example. These days, mandala art is commonly used in art therapy, in coloring exercise for concentration and relaxation. Mandala designs have proved so effective then that even licensed physiologists have been used using the practice within their own therapy sessions. They have found lots of positive effects on mental health, like improved concentration, stress reduction, and slowing of one's elevated heart rate. The deliberate use of colors and shapes helps those who struggle to practice meditation through the stresses of modern day society. Science, it's so easy to get lost and forget about the outside world for a while. People today also use mandalas art as decorative pieces and doodle art. They have become a popular choice for Tata artists too. What began as a religious spiritual symbol for Hindus and Buddhism, mandala art has science crept into another cultures. The term mandala has become the umbrella name for geometrical shapes and patterns in general. Those people who don't wo- follow any Asian religions still associate their symbols with spiritual meanings such as a positive balance and self-love. Fun, five fun acts about mandala art. People use it to believe that different features of the universe are represented by mandalas and that they are a tool to view the spiritual universe. It can represent or pinpoint the home of where a particular deity of meditation resides. Tibetan monks believe that following the 
completion of a mandala art piece, the dragon could then be in, entered into spirituality. Although a mandala is supposed to be drawn starting from the center and walking its way outwards, this journey is to be taking place from the outside in the center be, being the destination. This art is one of the few ways in which the monks are permitted to complete special work directly for the Buddha. The people who originally created mandalas had to pass authorization in order to complete this type of work. These initiation rituals that they had to undergo still exist today, to which monks or pious laymen now paint them up for commemorations and another special events. Before a Tibetan monk is even allowed to think about designing a mandala, they will have to go through an extremely harsh three-year study to test his physiologician and artistic abilities. The driving of mandalas is excellent for developing fine motor skills in children and retaining fine motor skills in the elderly. The intricate patterns when both driving and coloring them aid equipment handling skills and pencil control, agility, stability and dexterity, wishly strengthening the muscles and the hands, fingers, thumbs and wrists. Each layer of mandala circle means something. The circle on the outside will represent the ring of fire that wards of impurities from entering. The circle inside this is an indestructible one and is suitable made of diamonds. After this is the ring of eight graveyards. Each of this symbolizes the attributes that the human being to the reincarnation circle. The circle in the center is made of lotus leaves and represents rebirth.